Hello, my name's Steve and I sell stuff on eBay as a hobby. And in this video, I'm going to show you my payout for the 8th of October, 2024. First of all, let's have a look at what was sold. Only one item, I'm afraid. Um, however, let's have a look at that. Then we'll have a look at the payout and um, then we'll have another chat. It's Sunday, the 6th of October. Um, and sales have really slowed down recently. Um, and this is my first sale of the week. Quite possibly my last, the way things are going. Um, but I'm okay with that. Um, I'm only really selling now stuff that uh, I've had in the house for ages. So I'm doing a bit of decluttering. Um, and this is something that I bought for my granddaughter a few years back. She's in school now and well past this. And in fact, I bought her two sets of these um, by mistake. Uh, one of them I sold uh, with, the, um, with the original packaging uh, unopened uh, because I bought it by mistake. Um, and that went, I can't remember how much for really, uh, but this one without the original packaging, or, although I do have this label, um, it is uh, Grow and Play, Sainsbury's Grow and Play um, toy range, uh, nice little Skittle set. This one has gone for £9 all in, which I'm quite pleased with. Um, let me just take a couple of them out. Um, they are basically little um, Skittles in the shape of animals. So. This pink one here, that's obviously that's a pig. Um, and this one, this orange one, appears to be a cat. Um, a nice uh, yellow one there, a little chick. And um, let's see what else we've got. A green one. That must be a frog. Tell me it's a frog. Of course it is. Um, what else do we have? couple more, we've got um, a white panda and a blue, whatever that is, is it a bear? I think it's probably a bear. So anyway, there we are. We've got um, six little animal skittles, two solid wooden balls, very nice set. That's gone from £9 all in and I'm going to be posting that off today. eBay sent me £16.06 £6 on the 8th of October. They took off an amount of £2.94 for a postage label to send off the animal skittles. And they also credited me with £10 in relation to uh, a refund, which I successfully got paid back last week. More about that in a moment. Um, so I'm actually left with £6.06 £6 for the animal skittles. So that's how much I made this week. So not much of a payout then, and most of that was a refund of a refund. Um, what I mean by that is if you, if you have a look at last week's video, I actually had to refund the buyer because um, uh, his item hadn't arrived. I looked into it and then I found out just as I was about to make um, a claim off Royal Mail, I found out that in fact a delivery attempt had been made. eBay refunded me the refund. That money has come through this week. Um, but then, bizarrely, um, after doing that, I found out that the delivery attempt had actually been made to my address. Um, I'd gone into the local depot. Um, I spoke to them about it. Uh, they uh, they were very helpful, actually. A uh, guy rang me up late in the day. He said he didn't know where it was. He was off for the weekend, but he'd have a word with his manager who would ring me back. The manager didn't ring me back, but what did happen was later that afternoon, the parcel arrived back at my house, so I was able to send it back out to the buyer. Um, I managed to give him a ring. We had a conversation on the phone. He said he still wanted them, so I sent them off to him. Um, and when they arrived, he rang me, uh, thanked me for sending them back. He'd got them in good condition, so that was great. And what had actually happened, um, uh, the box. <laughs> This is what is left of the box that I'd originally sent it in. What happened was that the address label had become torn. That was entirely Royal Mail's fault. I had secured it properly to the package at the depot itself. I took a photograph of it. It was perfectly intact when I left it with them. Uh, but they made a right mess of it. Eventually it came back to me uh, and now it's gone back to the buyer, which is great. 
So um, before I leave, um, I'm not sure what's going to be happening next week. eBay are changing their payment uh, regime. It's no longer going to be done on uh, a schedule. So you have to request your payments now for next week. I think there may be one last payment next week on a weekly basis. After that, I'll probably revert to requesting my funds on Monday. Um, but that's for as long as I uh, continue selling on eBay because I am seriously thinking of giving up now. My plan was always to do it until um, spring 2025. I might stop even earlier than that. Um, the reason is I just want that time to myself really now. I've been de decluttering my house for um, three or four years. I've still got a lot of clutter, uh, but I'm fed up with eBay to be honest. Um, it's far too stressful. These, these things with um, dealing with returns and stuff. I just don't need that in my life, to be honest. Um, if uh, if you're a, a business seller on eBay selling loads of stuff, I'm sure you take it in your stride, but it just stresses the hell out of me, to be honest. So I don't know what that means for these videos. Um, I would like to keep doing YouTube videos. Maybe I could just talk about my books or something like that. Let me know what you think. I hope you found this video interesting anyway, but let me know what you think in the comments. Um, subscribe to my channel and uh, hopefully I'll see you next week. I'll give it a thumbs up as well. Bye for now.